Welcome to this tutorial on repair and retouching using Photoshop. Repair and retouching are two common tasks asked of this program. Uh, there are a number of steps that typically are taken, including cropping, rotating, repair using the repair tools from the toolbox, and adjustments from the adjustments menu. To start off, we would want to crop and rotate this image. So we would select the crop tool, create a box about the size that we think the finished piece will be, move to one of the corner handles and notice it changes into a double-headed arrow, click and rotate the selection, refine the uh, selections using the handles on either side, and to complete the crop which will automatically rotate either double click on the picture or choose the little arrow check tool at the top we'll next turn our attention to fixing some of the spots and imperfections on the photograph we'll use some tools from the toolbox including the spot healing brush the healing brush and the clone stamp tool. We'll zoom in a little bit to work on some of the spots. We see here on the woman's dress there are some black spots and on the man's suit there's some other imperfections that can be fixed. We're going to first choose the spot healing brush and notice that it has a, a similar size to other brush tools we might use as far as the paintbrush or the eraser. These can be modified size-wise as well as the hardness of the brush using the bracket tools much like the paintbrush and the eraser. So we'll make this a little bit smaller and then you simply go over the spots and click to have the spot healing brush repair the imperfections. What's happening here is that the tool is selecting pixels around that brush size and using those to repair the imperfection that's being worked on. We'll fix a couple more of the spots and then we're going to turn to the second tool mentioned and that is the healing brush. Uh, this spot right here is, some, is so close to the brownish colored if I were to use the spot healing brush here it would pick up some of the pixels from the reddish area and blend those in. So one thing that we could do is choose the other brush which is the healing brush tool. This allows us to sample from an area elsewhere in the photograph and use those pixels to fix the area here. So you do that by option clicking and then click to repair the area. Okay, I'll go quickly uh, fix a few more spots using the spot healing brush. Some up in the sky here. Some down on the ground. And a couple more remain on the man's suit. Next we're going to work on this uh, tear or crease and this edge that's along here using the clone stamp tool which is found right here. And similar to what we did with this healing brush, we need to select an area. So I'm going to make the tool a little bit larger. And then we're going to sample some of the texture and color from the ground here and use it to repair this portion over here. Once again, I'm going to use the option key to sample. And now I simply click and paint. And the crosshairs from where the initial sampling one was done uh, will indicate what is being painted on here. So I'm going to sample again and paint further down here and I've repaired that part of the photograph. Similar over here uh, in the sky, I'm going to sample some of the blue, paint along here, continue the resample, taking caution as to where my crosshairs are at.
Similar here, I can sample some of the roof line, blend that on up. Make that brush tool a little smaller. And I have, in fact, uh, repaired some areas that uh, did not exist. I'm going to sample a little bit of uh, sky here and touch this piece up. As well as the pole. And we have, in fact, uh, replaced areas that were white or missing in the photograph. A couple other areas remain to be fixed, and uh, we're going to work with the selection tools to aid us in that. One would be down here at the bottom. It looks like water or something's underneath the car, and then there's a spot up here that's both on the roof line as well as within the sky there. So first off, I'm going to take the lasso and select this area that we want to work on. Go to the clone stamp tool and I'm going to sample over here and literally paint in the area and notice that the selection prevents me from painting outside that area and into the other portion of the picture. Deselect that with command D and we'll turn our attention to the top part here. And once again, I'm going to do something similar, but this time use the polygon lasso. And click and click to provide a straight edge here. It doesn't really matter where this part goes. Once again, with the clone stamp tool, I'm going to sample some of the roof. and simply paint along here without affecting the sky. Likewise, I'm going to go to select and inverse the selection. So now that the sky is selected and not the roof, once again with the option key, click and paint in some of the sky here. Command D to deselect and I repaired the roof line here with this imperfection as well as the water spots down on the ground. The final repair we'll do to this photograph is to remove the color cast that it has. It's a little overly red. So to do that, we're going to go to the image menu, adjustments, and select levels. With this palette open, we're going to choose the center eyedropper, which will set the gray point. Uh, this neutral color will then remove the color cast that the picture has. So we're going to find a neutral area, often a light gray area such as this, and choose it. And notice how the redness of the photograph has now vanished. Though the repair is finished, often an additional step is taken, either to soften or sharpen the image. This is done by applying a filter. To sharpen this image, we're going to select Sharpen under the Filter menu and Unsharp Mask. Some adjustments can be made, but we'll take the default settings and say OK. And notice the slight sharpness that's been applied to the picture. With the repair of this photograph complete, we can now turn our attention to retouching. Retouching is altering the photograph, where repairing is fixing imperfections on it. It might be such things as uh, enhancing the color of the car, for instance. Or in this case, the grass on the lower left hand side is fairly brown and looks somewhat dead. So first off, we're going to select the area with the lasso tool.
And then I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and select Hue and Saturation. We're going to change the hue slightly and increase the saturation. Notice that it's turned greener. And we're going to saturate that green some and make it a little bit darker. This is a visual uh, way in which the designer would work with the image here. Hit OK and Command D to deselect the area and now that brown grass is much, much greener.